What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be a completely weird video actually. We're going to do a tutorial. I've had a few females and males ask me how to drive a stick shift. I feel like there's not a lot out there, especially females teaching other people how to drive a stick. So we're going to be driving this today. If you're new to the channel, I have a 2008 Evo X. Let's get going. Come on. e-brake is on and your car is off and I'm just gonna go through the gears really fast just because I feel like most cars are set up with a five-speed so when your car is in neutral the, it's gonna wiggle around like this side to side I would just grab your knob and wiggle it around a little bit so you get a feel this is the most important gear of your car just so you don't kill it first gear second gear and when I go up it's always going back into neutral third gear fourth gear and then up to the right is fifth gear and down below is reverse. To start up the car, I always keep it in neutral. You can keep it in first gear if you want, but if you let off the clutch, it's gonna pop and then die. I would highly recommend just going in neutral. We're gonna put the clutch in. You have the three pedals. You have the gas on the right over here. Brake is right here and then clutch is over here. So push in the clutch, get your key. Make sure it's in neutral and turn on your car. And then you can let off the clutch. And because it's in neutral, it will not do anything. In neutral pretty much just means your car is not gonna move at all. You're just stuck in one place. If I go on the gas, it doesn't move at all. You're stuck. I feel like this is the most important thing is just learning how to get into first gear. And if you have like a little hill to go down, I feel like that's the easiest way to just like kind of roll into going. You're gonna take off your e-brake and because I'm not on a heel, I'm gonna press in my clutch with my left foot and I'm gonna go up into first gear. If I don't touch the gas at all and I just let off the clutch and it's in first gear, it's gonna die. Party foul. We're going to get back into neutral. The car's back on, my clutch is in. We're gonna go into first gear. My foot, my left foot is still on the clutch. It's pressing it all the way down. And I feel like I was probably really stupid when I first started learning how to drive because I really never realized the RPMs over here. You were supposed to kind of watch those. I feel like that helped me a lot. When your car dies, your RPMs are all the way at zero, but because my car is on, it's almost up to 1,000. Slowly, this is the most important part. So if you're by yourself, try to learn how to do this. Very, very important. Slowly let off the clutch and then slowly press the gas pedal. And you'll see when I'm doing that, the RPMs go past 1000 RPMs. You guys can see the RPMs are moving. Once it gets past the 1000 RPM and you're slowly letting go of the clutch and slowly going on the gas, you'll start to move. Now, my foot is all the way off the clutch. And you're just cruising around. Now I'm just cruising around. And if I want to stop, I push in the clutch, back in neutral. And we're fine. I want to do this at least one more time with you guys just to really get a feel for what it's like. Make sure your seatbelt is on. Take your hand off the emergency brake, the e-brake. Make sure your foot is on the clutch. And then put your car into first gear and slowly, slowly let off the clutch. And when you're about halfway letting off the clutch, that's when you start to put on the gas. I remember Devin teaching me to drive a stick shift at first, and he kind of said you can kind of feel the grab. Like you can kind of feel the car start to want to grab to drive forward. I don't know if that makes sense at all, if that's a stupid thing to say, but it really helped me. So letting off the clutch halfway, putting on the gas a little tiny bit, not a lot, and slowly releasing the clutch and we're moving. So yeah, it's super easy guys. And then to stop pushing the clutch, put on the brake, back into neutral, knee brake up and you can let go of everything and your car will not die, especially in traffic. It's so much more nerve wracking when you're at a stop sign or stoplight and you are focusing super hard on trying to go when other people are behind you. So I would 
get that down 100%. So I wanna go into second gear and I wanna say we're gonna have to go out on the road to get into second gear just because this parking lot is not big enough for me to go into second gear. When you're going into second gear, you're gonna do exactly the same thing you're doing in first gear except for going into second gear is gonna be a lot more easy just because you're already rolling so it's not like it's gonna die or anything um, when you're when you're actually uh, on the road so that's nothing to worry about it's more about just doing the transaction really smoothly that's kind of what it's all about we're gonna do this one more time we're gonna push in the clutch go into first gear make sure your e-brake is off and then I just put my right foot on the gas and I'll show you guys what I what I do with my toesies slowly let go of the clutch and now I'm on the gas and foot goes off the clutch now we're rolling it's easy to drive a stick now because you used to think it's hard I thought it was so hard at first I thought I literally I thought I would never get the hang of it and now it's just like second nature I don't even think about it since I'm gonna back up guys I'll show you how to go in reverse press in the clutch car is in reverse same thing we're gonna go Slowly letting off the clutch and pressing on the gas. Personally, I like to drive like this all the time. We're gonna go first into second gear. We're gonna bring this out on the street just because going in second gear, you have to be going a little bit faster. I, I like to shift around 3,000 RPM. Unless you're ripping, unless, unless you're, you're racing. Yeah, unless you're going a little bit faster, but I don't expect people to do that the first time. No. All right. Okay, so same thing that I've been teaching you guys since the beginning. We're gonna go already in first gear, second gear, same thing. Clutch in, down to second, and you're rolling again. And because there's a bus right in front of me, I have to stop, so I'm gonna press in the clutch, and we're gonna go into neutral. But they're going again, so I'm gonna push it back into second gear. Most cars have uh, the numbers on their shift knob, so I'm gonna go into third gear. I'm at 3,500 RPM, so I'm gonna shift into third. And we're coming up on the stoplight, so I'm gonna go into neutral again. And then you guys can lift off the clutch if it's in neutral. If you guys ever have any questions, just comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. But yeah, I hope this helped in shifting a manual car is fun. I hope this video helped you out a little bit. I feel like when I first started learning how to drive a manual, I looked at all these YouTube videos and I kind of felt like some of them explained too much to where it confused me. So I hope this video wasn't confusing at all. Or if you're just watching to watch the channel, that's awesome, thank you. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video, bye.